Lord Sakai, please join me. The tale of Gosaku awaits you. Gosaku? Tell me about him. Gladly, my lord. Two and a half centuries ago, Tsushima was terrorized by the Red Hand Bandits of Akashima. Around this time, a farmer named Gosaku heard the spirit of a dead samurai calling to him. He found the body, still clad in brilliant armor. Overwhelmed by the armor's beauty, Gosaku stole it. Before long, the Red Hand reached Gosaku's home, knowing the farmers would lose everything if the bandits went unchallenged. Gosaku donned the samurai's armor. The bandits charged. Gosaku's sword arm trembled in fear. He resigned himself to death, but blow after blow glanced off the armor, and Gosaku did not falter. The bewildered bandits staggered back, tripping over their feet. A mysterious sense of calm suffused Gosaku's body and mind. Impressed by Gosaku's bravery, the dead samurai spirit guided his blade. Before long, Gosaku cut down the final bandit, and the Red Hand were never seen again. Years later, when Gosaku died, the farming families locked the armor away for safekeeping. Each family holds a single key to the lock. Now terror stalks our island again. The farmers of Tsushima claim to have seen Gosaku high on a hill, looking for a mighty warrior to protect our farms once more. The armor is still locked away. And now the Mongols are hunting for it. Raiding farms across the island in search of the keys. Which farmsteads hold the keys? Oh. Aoi, Iijima, Kuta, Koshimizu, Ohama, and Yagata. If you find the keys, they say the armor is hidden on a hilltop in Akashima. The Mongols will never lay hands on it. Of that, I am certain, my lord.
grim reminder. An unknown world teems with life. Once a grander sight. Day of my life, my lord. Go and stay safe. Need a way off. Negum Bell.
be all right. My prayers have been answered. Go. Be well. Lord Sakai, I hope Sensei is coward. Hear you! Equal of Gosaku, my lord. As a sign of our gratitude, take this key to his armor. I will wear it in defense of the people of Tsushima. Headaches. A knife in my eye. Let's go, Nobu. Yeah. <laughs> Angel, what do they call it? You tell me. Uh, 
You know what happened. Tell me. We don't know anything. I want answers. How dare you threaten us? Into this. Tell me what this is about. Halt, Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of Omugi Cove. Please, come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. Here's all I have. Just for you. I'm sorry. I need more for that. I look forward to hearing of your victory. <laughs> this is an interesting find, very recent. I think you'll be pleased. You have my thanks. Your victories give us hope.
Lord Sakai, this is Lady Sanjo. Welcome to Umugi Ko. I see the Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured, so long as you abide by that same rule. Now please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler named Goro. <laughs> Interesting. He is downstairs, having his third bottle of sake. Enjoy your visit with him. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. I think we can help each other. You must be Goro. Uh, we must all be someone. Who must you be? Lord Sakai. Ah, the samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive. But my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip. Even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. After Komoda Beach, I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. If that's how you feel, find your courage. Help us avenge them. We need a lot more samurai to do that. We'll receive them when you deliver Lord Shimura's message. Life will go back to normal. Lord Samurai! Please! I have a message for you! I heard the Mongols are taking blacksmiths into their camps and forcing them to make weapons. I'd rather die than come to those bastards. You say that now. and Mochi. Maybe. Maybe not. This is my home. Come in. Hmm. Get 
getting past that Mongol blockade won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Open up, Goro! We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe! Shit! I'll deal with them. I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord! What's your business with Goro? Private. We'll... we'll be back! Lord Shimura. I found Goro in Umugi Cove. Was he drunk? Not anymore. He will fulfill his debt to you and sail for the mainland. He may be unsavory, but few know the sea like Goro. Will these men deliver your message? Precisely. Kotaro and Jiro are loyal and courageous. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. Goro is ready. He will meet us nearby, then lead us to his boat. We will ride when the time is right. Take this moment to prepare for battle. Yes, Uncle. It is time. 
To your horses, men. We are ready, my lord. Stay alert and keep watch for our smuggler. I can always tell when you want to ask me something. Out with it. I'm curious how you met Goro. I caught him selling Chinese silk forbidden by Shogun decree. I burned his stock and let him go. He defied the Shogun. It was a risk to not punish him harshly. A samurai should always apply the proper force. Too little and you lose respect. Too much and you lose opportunity. The Mongols have many ships. Can Goro evade them all? He has no choice. What will we do if they catch us, my lord? Do not fear death, Kotaro. Live with courage, and never forget the people you fight to protect. Lord Shimura! Goro, where is your boat? This way. I'm happy you're alive, my lord. Thank you for agreeing to settle your debt. I'll do my best. But I fear the Mongols will sink me before I leave the coastline. There are too many eyes watching the water. Perhaps we can direct their attention elsewhere. Yes, now. We walk from here. Fort Mitodake. My father took that stronghold from Clan Yarikawa. Now the Mongols have it. Imagine their surprise when two samurai take it back from them. If we make enough noise inside the fort... Mm. The Mongol ship crews will look to it instead of the water. Goro, we will draw the enemy's attention to the fort. Sail when you hear the fighting. My lord, you will be killed! Your only concern is delivering my message. Horses might give us away. We will go on foot, Lord Sakai. <laughs>